So today we will start with the first section in chapter 11, uh, simple harmonic motion. Uh, before we start with our new chapter, just we have to revise something. We said previously in the first semester, we have the mechanical energy here. The mechanical energy is equal to kinetic energy plus potential energy. We said before kinetic energy, the kinetic, which depends on the velocity. So any object has a velocity, that means it has a kinetic energy, which is equal to half mv squared velocity plus potential energy. Now, potential energy could be gravitational potential energy, which depends on the gravity, which is equal to mgh, or elastic potential energy. So today, we will explain what the meaning of the elastic potential energy. Again, we learn from the mechanical energy, and we learn from the kinetic energy, and we learn from the gravitational potential energy. Today, we will discuss the uh, elastic potential energy. So we will start with Hooke's law. In Hooke's law, we will explain when we have a spring mass system like here in this figure. So in figure B, we have the equilibrium position, which is the X, X which is the displacement, it's equal to zero. So we have a spring here and we have and a mass here, an object. So now the displacement is equal to zero. That's mean still we have at the equilibrium position. Now we have position A here and we have here position C. In position A, we have a displacement equal to positive X. So we have a displacement equal to X to the positive X axis. Since we have a displacement to the positive x-axis, that means we have an elastic force. The elastic force must be at the opposite direction. So again, guys, here the displacement to the positive x-axis, that means the elastic force must go to the negative x-axis. In figure C, now the displacement to the negative x-axis. That means the elastic force to the positive x-axis. So all the time, the elastic force must be at the opposite side. So Hooke's law here explains that the elastic force all the time must always opposite the direction of the mass displacement from the equilibrium position, which is equal x equal to zero in position or in figure So, again, at equilibrium, the spring force and the mass acceleration become zero. So here again, in figure B, the displacement equal to zero. That means the elastic force must be equal to zero. So if I have a spring, but still the spring at the equilibrium position, so that means we don't have an elastic force. The speed <clears throat> at the equilibrium position, the speed will reach a maximum velocity. I will explain it later. Now, at a maximum displacement, the spring force and the max acceleration reach a maximum and the speed becomes zero. So again, I will start here from position B. Now, I will go to the maximum displacement in figure A. At the maximum displacement, now the speed is equal to zero. But we have stored energy inside the spring, which is equal to elastic potential energy. So again, Equilibrium position, still we have nothing. At the maximum displacement in figure A, we have stored energy inside the spring and it's equal to maximum elastic potential energy. Now the mass will start <clears throat> moving to the equilibrium position again with a maximum kinetic energy here and will keep moving to the position C at the position C, again, the kinetic energy will be zero and the elastic potential energy is gonna be maximum. Again, to the equilibrium position, the kinetic energy maximum, the elastic zero. Again, to position A, the velocity and the kinetic energy is gonna be zero and the elastic is gonna be maximum. So it will start from this position A to equilibrium to the negative maximum displacement, then equilibrium, 
maximum positive displacement, equilibrium, maximum negative displacement, and so on. Now, for the elastic force, it's equal to k times x. Now, k is spring constant. Spring constant depends on the spring. Sometimes we have a spring, the k is equal to 10, sometimes equal to 1000. It depends on the material for the spring and depends on the number of the terms. So it's constant actually. x is the displacement. Don't forget, here we have negative sign. Why we have negative sign? Because all the time the elastic force must be at the opposite direction. So if the x, if the displacement to the positive x-axis, that means the elastic force must be at the negative x-axis. Now, if the displacement to the negative x-axis, now negative, with the negative is going to be positive, that means the elastic force it will go to the positive x-axis. But for the x, all the time, it must be positive because it's a constant. Now we have a problem. <clears throat> For example, we have a mass of 0 0.55 kilogram attached to a vertical spring. So here we have a vertical spring, once with a x equal to 0 at the equilibrium position here. Then we have a mass equal to 0 0.55 kilogram. Now we have a displacement to the negative y axis. So we have x equal to negative 2 centimeter because we are going down to the negative y axis so again we have a mass equal to 0 0.55 and we have a displacement equal to minus 2 centimeter what's the spring constant so he's asking to find k first step as we know we have to find the given now if a mass of 0 0.55 kilogram so we have m equal to 0 0.55 it's first given now we have 2 cm, that means the displacement. So the second given, we have here x equal to negative 2 cm. Don't forget, it's centimeter. To go from centimeter to meter, we have to divide by 100. So 2 divided by 100 is going to be 0 0.02 meter. What's the spring constant? So the unknown, the variable here is asking to find k. So again, we have a given m equal to 0 0.55. We have x equal to minus 2 centimeter. That's mean minus 0 0.02 meter. Uh, gravity, as we know, is equal to 9.81 meter per second square. Unknown k equal to, I have to find the constant. So again here, we have <clears throat> here the weight going down. So we first step we need to go from mass to weight and we know from the Newton law the weight the force equal to mass times gravity so 0 0.55 times 9.81 it's equal to the force so here if elastic it's equal to minus kx and we know if elastic is equal to minus mg so, minus mg minus kx must be equal to 0. That's mean here, k is going to be equal to minus mg divided by x. Again, now m is giving was 0 0.55. g constant, 9.81 divided by x, which is was minus 0 0.02. So, the answer here is going to be 270 newton per meter. So the spring constant here is equal to 270 newton per meter.